Good evening, tasters. Nevla here again, another nightcap night. This evening, I'd like to talk about this whiskey called Airstone. A-E-R-S-T-O-N-E, -E, Airstone. It's actually made at the Ale Sabay distillery. And back there on the back shelf, I have an Ale Sabay peated whiskey. But this one's not peated. It's, uh, supposedly it says on the back, it's stored in warehouses by the sea, hence the name Sea Cask. It's 10 years old, bottled at 40%, and it's quite a budget-priced whisky, about 60 bucks. Airstone 10-year-old Sea Cask. Well, it's a nice bright straw colour. 40%, so there's not too many legs down the glass. Notice I'm trying to warm the whiskies up here in winter. They get a bit cold. Well, there's a bit of toffee in there. And yeah, there's, there's certainly some sea spray, like the brine from the ocean. Bit of vanilla. And maybe even cocoa. It's quite an interesting nose. I like it. <clears throat> Yum. That's nice. It's uh, full of vanilla, like almost like a vanilla sponge cake. It's smooth. It's like some icing sugar in it. A little bit of, a little bit of oak, which you'd expect after ten years in oak, and um, and maybe some honey. And uh, the finish is persisting. It's not the longest finish I've had, but the, it's still there in the mouth. That little bit of that lingering oak and a pinch of salt, um, maybe some, some lemon. This is not bad. On the label, it says, smooth and easy. Matured for over 10 years in warehouses located near the sea for a smooth tasting whiskey with an air of sea salt on the finish. Well, I agree with all of that. There is also another airstone called Land Cask. And the back label says that the Land Cask is rich and smoky. Well, as this one is pretty good, I might just have to go and hunt up the Land Cask. I like this one, and it sounds like I might like the Land Cask. Hope your tastings are going okay. All the best from cold Tasmania. That's not bad.